All right, here's an example of using synthetic division to divide a polynomial. Let's take x cubed minus 2x plus 1, and let's divide that by x plus 4. Okay, you'll notice there's an x squared term that's missing. We'll deal with that in a second. So to do synthetic division, we first take this denominator, the divisor, we bring it over to the side, set it equal to 0, and then we subtract 4 from both sides to solve for x. So we get x equals negative 4. Then I take that negative 4 and I'm going to write it over here, and I put kind of a little half box around it. Now what I do is I take the coefficient of all of the terms in the polynomial in the numerator. So I've got a 1, I'm going to write it right there. Now you'll notice the x squared term is missing, so that could be the same as plus 0x squared. So I'm going to write a 0. The x term has a coefficient of minus 2, and then we have a 1 on the end. Then we leave a little bit of space, and we draw a bar, and then the first thing we do is bring down that first term. Now we start our process, and I'm going to kind of do an orange dotted line here to show you how it goes. So negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and then I write that right here, and then I'm going to add this column up. So 0 plus negative 4 is negative 4, and then I do it again. Dotted line right there. I'm going to get a lot of dotted lines on here. Negative 4 times negative 4, well, that's going to be a positive 16. So I write it right there. And now I'm ready to add up this column. So negative 2 plus positive 16 is 14. And then I do that multiplication again. So I'm running out of room there. 4 times negative, I'm sorry, 4, negative 4 times positive 14, there we go, is negative 15. So I'm going to write that negative 56. There we go. Write that right there, negative 56. So that came right up there. And now I'm going to add this last column. Positive 1 plus negative 56 is going to be negative 55. And after I do that, I am going to draw this box around it. Always draw this box around it. And when you do that, that tells you that that's your remainder. Negative 55 or negative 55 over x plus 4. All right, now here's the cool little trick. How to make a polynomial out of these coefficients on the bottom. The reason you put a box around this is because this is your remainder. And then you start from the right. So you have a 14, and that's a positive. And then you've got negative 4, well, that's going to get an x term next to it. And then you have this 1, and that's going to have an x squared next to it. So see how these were the coefficients of the resulting polynomial? So when I do this division, I end up with x squared minus 4x plus 14 with a remainder of negative 55.